Hello, welcome to Maths with J. So we're looking at this double integral where we need to integrate the inner integral first of all. So that's integrating with respect to x where we will consider y to be a constant. So let's just put brackets around the inner integral, just kind of separate it out from the outer integral. So once we've worked out the inner integral, we'll simply have a function in terms of y, which we can then integrate with respect to y. So notice that we're using y equals minus 2 and 2 to show that those limits are the limits on y. And then in the inner integral, we've got x equals 0 to 2. So we're starting off by doing the inner integral. So let's put uh, that down first of all. So integrating 4 with respect to x will be 4x. So 4 is a constant, so when we integrate it, we just multiply it by x. Integrating x squared with respect to x will be x cubed over 3. And then here, we are thinking of y as a constant. So when we're integrating y squared with respect to x, well, y squared is just a constant, so we're just going to multiply it by x. So we're going to get minus x y squared. And our limits there are x equals 0 and 2. And then that is dy. So now we're going to substitute in our limits. So we've still got y equals minus 2 to 2 on the outside there. Substituting 2 into our answer, we're going to get 4 times 2 minus 2 cubed over 3 minus 2 times y squared. And then when we substitute x equals 0, well, every term has got um, an x in it, so we're just going to get uh, 0 there. So then we want to integrate that integral with respect to y. So now we don't need to put y equals because we don't have an x anymore. So we've got minus 2 to 2 there, as we normally would write in a single integral. And let's work out what we've got there. We've got 4 2 is 8. 2 cubed is 8. So we've got 8 minus 8 over 3. So that's 24 minus 8 is 16 over 3. So our constant in there is 16 over 3 and 2y squared is the same. So all we're doing is just simplifying before doing the final integral. Now we're ready to integrate. So 16 over 3 will multiply y, and then integrating y squared will be y cubed over 3, and the limits on there are 2 and negative 2. So that will give us 16 times 2 over 3 minus 2 to the power of 4 because it's 2 times 2 cubed over 3 and then we will subtract putting minus 2 in there will give us minus 32 over 3 and we will have minus 2 times negative 2 cubed so that will be a plus 2 to the 4 over 3 So we will have 32 minus 16 plus 32 minus 16 all over 3. So we will end up with 32 over 3.